Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Scott and this is another My Bourbon Journey review. So if you're new to this channel and you're looking for re reviews of different whiskeys, uh, such as rye and bourbons, uh, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. If you do that, um, also hit the uh, bell notification. That will alert you to when I'm doing um, new uploads uh, or we'll be doing like a live stream. So uh, I'm trying to have fun with that. So I appreciate all the support. So today I'm going to be doing a review of uh, Dad's Hat uh, Pennsylvania Straight Rye Whiskey. This is a, uh, a 95 proof or 47.5% uh, uh, ABV uh, straight rye whiskey. The straight portion means it's at least two years old. And uh, this we know actually is bottled at um, a minimum of three years old. So it is still considered... A, uh, a straight rye whiskey. The mash bill on this is a little bit kind of different. Um, they try to um, kind of follow the standards of the um, kind of the, the style of the, the Pennsylvania style uh, type of rye. So it's a little bit different than what you may find in uh, Kentucky, things along those lines or other parts of the country. Uh, the mash bill on this is 80% rye, 15% barley malt, and 5% rye malt. So that's a, a unique blend um, in itself to make up that mash bill. So again, this is a 95 proof uh, Pennsylvania straight rye whiskey. So why don't we get into the review? Uh, typically what I'd like to, to do, um, uh, as I do in, in most of my videos, is we'll go through the appearance, we'll go through the nose, uh, then we'll go through the tasting, and then the finish. And then we'll kind of get into the uh, kind of just some general information, pricing, kind of rating, things along those lines, just um, some other general information. So, um, so yeah, why don't we go ahead and uh, we'll get into the, the review. And I'm not going to add any water, uh, any water to this. I typically like to drink my uh, rye neat. I don't really uh, typically like what what water does to it for the most part. So, anyway, color really nice, kind of uh, like a honey type of of note or a honey type of uh, color to that light light bronze. So, let's get into the nose. So the first thing you get right up front is that, that sweet rye spice. Uh, you can tell this is a, a bit of a non-standard rye. I don't get much or any, any real dill on that. Um, I do get uh, a little bit of that kind of uh, grassy type of note or hay. Uh, usually you kind of pick that up in a, a younger uh, rye. I mean, three years is not super young, but again, not super uh, old or anything. I would say it's a little bit on the, the younger younger side of, of a whiskey. So um, you do also pick up a, a bit of a kind of a chocolate note that's there. Definitely some cinnamon. There's a little bit of even a little bit of kind of honey there. But the one thing I'm starting to kind of pick up is uh, kind of a, a caramel like green apple, if, if that makes any sense. You get that, that real nice kind of sweet apple note that's there. Definitely the fresh rye, you're picking that up so you get that nice, uh, nice spice that's there. And when I say spice, I'm not talking about um, necessarily like a pepper spice, I'm just saying kind of like a nice, not, not even a baking spice, it's just that, that spice you get when you're smelling rye it, it the rye has that particular um you know note to it and and i'm getting a, that in in a nice kind of fresh note you know you still pick up that that grass note that's there a little bit but that's kind of that's a little bit in the in the background there's nothing that's overpowering or giving the a major indication of this is is got super youth or anything to it so it's nice that it's at least three years old um you know, so again, it's got a little, bit, a little bit of age to it. So let's go ahead and we'll get into the taste. Cheers. So 
So like I do, uh, before or when you're doing like a tasting of really anything, we'll just keep it specific to whiskey, but you want to get the, the palate coated a little bit before you just start to judge that the flavor profile of something. Get the palate coated a little bit, take another sip, and then you'll, you kind of get a better idea of maybe, you know, what that's going to kind of taste like for you. And it allows you to pick up some, some different notes because you're essentially preparing your palate for what it is you're about ready to taste. So you get right away a little bit of that grassiness. Again, there's that little bit of youth to it. I pick up a little bit of a zest, like maybe a, a lemon zest or some type of citrus zest, not uh, super sweet but the, uh, the zest from it. So it's usually a little bit, I don't wanna say like on the bitter side, but it tastes like if you've ever had zest before, um, it, it, it tastes, you know, you're picking that kind of note up in it. So, but again, also that really nice sweet rye spices is there. Wants to really sit on the, the back of the mid palate. It's, it's fairly viscous and mouth coating. So that's kind of nice from that standpoint. So like I did on the, on the palette, I'm getting a lot of that, that green apple note, kind of a, you know, there's that, that little bit of a caramel that's there. So you, the, the combination would be a little bit of a kind of a caramel covered green apple. So you get that, that little bit of, you know, bitterness from the rye, the tartness from kind of the green apple, but still a little bit of the sweetness from uh, you know, the kind of the, the caramel part of it, but really nice, really good balance to it. You get the sweet and spice of, of this rye. So um, it is a little bit on the drier side. So as soon as you are, are done, you know, it feels like it's wanting to dry out the palate. Um, but the, the finish portion of it is, is really, I would say, medium to long. The, the longer I kind of keep talking, the more that, that zest and that rye kind of continues to kind of come through. But I really get a lot of that, that green apple followed by a little bit of that, that sweet rye. So it's got some pretty good layers to it. Um, they've done a really, really nice job, you know, considering that it's, you know, a, a three year uh, rye. So really, really nice job. You know, and again, something that, you know, with rye, you'll get something that's super young that'll just taste like you're, you know, chewing on grass or something. You won't get a lot of other flavors. You know, this is way more balanced. You get different waves of things along the way, the, the sweetness, the spicy, um, you know, and then those two kind of combine. So it's really, really good layering um, in this rye. You know, and for 95 proof, you get a little bit of a uh, little bit of heat there, but nothing that's overpowering. I would say even anybody who would, you know, not be a huge fan of rise, this is something that's maybe a little bit more um, approachable. Meaning, there's good spice there, not a ton of heat. You know, at 95 proof, there's a little bit there that's fairly initial, uh, and that goes away fairly quickly but it still lets you know that, you know, there's some proof there. So it's not like, you know, drinking an 80 proof of, of some different whiskey. It, it definitely lets you know that, you know, there is, there is some proof to it, but a really, really good job. Um, if I'm doing like a rating system out of like, you know, I don't know, five, out of like five barrels, I mean, this is, would be a solid, a solid four. I mean, I think this is a great, not only sipping whiskey, but would hold up great in just about any type of rye cocktail. Um, now, if you're looking for something on the, the sweeter side or even something that's got a little bit more spicy spiciness to it, this probably would really fit that bill. They've, they've done a really, really nice job. So, um, you know, if you want something that's 
you know, that just sit down at the end of the night that has some good sweet spice and it's fairly bold. Um, this would be a great or a fantastic, you know, rye whiskey to, to sit down with. So um, I guess one thing uh, also I wanted to, to mention, um, this, this product is about, I believe, 45 or $50 uh, from what I've seen in terms of doing a little bit of research. I don't know what their distribution is in terms of the states, um, but I will have uh, a link in the description below uh, to the distillery so you can find out some different information uh, on them if, you, if you'd like. So, uh, so feel free to check that out. Uh, in addition to that link, um, I've also set up a, um, similar to Patreon, but on my end, um, I've set up a, a PayPal account that I'll also have linked uh, in the description below if you want to uh, donate anything to the channel. Uh, I appreciate all the support. Uh, anything that is contributed to the channel goes directly back into it, um, you know, through bottle purchases, equipment, anything along those lines. So, um, you know, any support is, is much appreciated. So, um, so I guess uh, with that being said, um, you know, again, Dad's Hat, um, Pennsylvania Straight Rye Whiskey, 95 proof, um, approximately 45 to $50, depending on, you know, where you are. Um, I'll have, again, some uh, links in the description below if you want to check them out. Um, but again, um, as far as the video, uh, leave me some comments. Give me thumbs up. If you leave a comment, I will do my best to, um, you know, respond. I, I always try to respond to as many of the videos uh, or the uh, replies as I can. I, th I, I feel if, if you're taking your time to send me uh, a message or something like that, that I take the time to, to return that. So I enjoy the interaction. So, uh, so anyway, thanks again for all the support. Uh, once again, dad's hat, Pennsylvania straight rye whiskey, 95 proof. We'll see you next time. Cheers.